what he's suffering and for what. My guess, he's compensating for something big. Yeah, or small, if you catch my drift. You are quite articulate for a duck. That, sir, is very close-minded. Oh, no. I'm a big enough man to admit when I'm wrong. T'Challa here showed me there was more than one way to reallocate the universe's resources. Sometimes the best weapon in your arsenal is just a good argument. Aye, aye, Commander. Although I still assert my plan was not without its merits. Oh, are you sure you cannot fly or shoot lasers out of your eyes or something? Let's go a few rounds and you can find out. Pass. I prefer you in the cage. Where I come from, history has never looked kindly on those who lock men in cages. Ma, make a note. It appears he does have a superpower after all. He can bore someone to death using only his sanctimony. Let's... Yeah, I did what I had to do. For what? A throne? For vengeance. For my father, and for all my brothers and sisters who suffered through oppression while you just sat back and watched. You believe the cure for human suffering is more suffering? The cure is power, and now I have it. Because you stole it, power and end can be a very volatile force, cousin. It will get the best of you eventually, on your plane or on ours. Minutes. We'll put another W on the board for the Avengers. Go ahead, high five. It's okay, I won't feel left out. You're all right. Last year, Mr. Stark asked me to join the Avengers. I turned them down, and, and now they're all gone. And I'm still here. In my culture, death is not the end. They are still with us. As long as we do not forget them. Plus, they're not all gone. 